Welcome. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, hello, Kibbeus, Kibbeers, Kibby enthusiasts, whatever you wanna call yourselves. This video is all about the Kibbe theory and the different IDs and their style lines. And we're going to discuss who the Kibbe system works for, where its flaws are at, and we're gonna identify my type and you shall be able to guess that in just a second. But if you do not know what I'm talking about and you have not gone into the deep dark hole that is the Kibbe universe, Yes, yes, that hole. If you haven't gone there yet, I'm gonna link a blog post below and you're gonna go read it first because there's a lot of concepts that we're gonna go over, including yin versus yang, blended versus contrast, that if I mention these things and you don't know what I'm talking about and you don't know the flowery language that is kibbe, you are the shining star atop a Christmas tree, a sparkling and refreshing garden party in June, or a softly glowing moonlit evening. You will be very confused. So who is the Kibbe system for? Ideally, it is an image identity system that is supposed to help you find your style lines, find what you're most comfortable in, and exude a fashion essence. There was a bug. So Kibbe system. Now, what I'm about to propose to you is that if you are a Kibbe level 100 and you already know my ID without even me exposing it, then you're going to keep your mouth shut and you're not going to comment because we don't want to spoil it for everyone. I'm going to go through all the 13 archetypes and I'm going to put on the style lines for each and tell you why they fit the appropriate ID. And from there, you will be able to either guess or not guess my style lines based on what I look best in. Theoretically, if Kibbe's system is flawless, then you should be able to guess my ID fairly quickly because the style lines will look chef's kiss. Let me first say this. Strictly Kibbe Group, this is my little disclosure. Do not come for me if you disagree with me. Do not come here and defend David Kibbe. I'm not saying a bad thing about him. The man has a very solid system. When I talk about the Strictly Kibbe Group, now I'm a big fan of the Freely Kibbe Group. I like the idea of using this system and bringing it into your style and learning your style lines, especially if you're lost on your fashion. But the Strictly Kibbe Group, now that is a slightly different vibe and they're probably going to come for me like Squid Games-esque after I make this video. Coffee and I don't want to try on 13 different outfits, but I love you, so I'm going to. The dramatics, they are all about the extreme yang. They're all dramatics, extreme yang. You are all about those sharp edges. Long vertical lines are essentials. Fabric that hold their shape are necessary. Details should always be clean and min minimal to complement your sculpted, chiseled look. Shoulder pads are essential. Mm, no. Sh strong, sharp, physicality, cool reserve, and charismatic power. Soft, dramatic, bold yang with pronounced yin undercurrent, which basically means your bones are angular, but you have some yin flesh and facial features. Your style is described by Kibbe as diva chic. Strong vertical line, yes. T silhouette, definitely. Details should be flamboyant, lavish, and oversized. Dresses should be elongated, cheering details are great, and soft ne draped necklines are your thing. Flamboyant, natural, soft yang with blunt edges. Kibbe describes you as free spirit chic, but uh, we're not going to do that today. Unconstructed silhouettes, asymmetrical, and textures. Jackets should be long, un unconstructed, and loose pants should be roomy and full. All about bold sweeping lines, elongated and straight, relaxed, unconstructed outline. Natural, soft yang, girl next door chic. A relaxed straight line is the outline of your look. Your silhouette is softly ta tailored, always unconstructed. Soft textures are excellent. Relaxed shaped jackets are elongated. Details should be kept minim minimal. Jewelry should be kept on the chunky side with soft or rounded edged geometrics. Natural, soft yang with yin undercurrent. You are a fresh and sensual lady. Unconstructed silhouettes with shaping, particularly at the waist. Details should be loose, relaxed, delicate, slightly intricate, and very creative. Obvious use of separates and an artful blend of textures, colors, and patterns. There's an earthiness that comes from your soft yang, so anything tactile is great. Dramatic classic, balanced yin yang with a yang influence. Your style is tailored chic, elegantly fashion forward. Your silhouette is always trim and tailored with sharp edges, clean sleek lines, straight lines, elongated draping, strong defined shoulder line with crisp edges, strong vertical and diagonal lines. Details should be crisp, tailored and geometric with sharp edges. Ensemble approach with a head to toe appearance that is key. Classic, perfectly balanced yin yang. You're so rare, Kibby said you don't exist anymore. Goodbye. But when will I see you again? Oh, never, never.
but that's a conversation for another day. You are a sophisticated lady. Keep your outline smooth and symmetrical with the emphasis on controlled and even edges, soft straight lines, and smoothly curved lines, softly tailored or slightly flowing. A clean, unbroken silhouette is your most elegant statement. Think head to toe and blend everything accordingly. Your use of detail should be clean, simple, minimal, just enough to add an elegant, understated touch. Yeah, we're only halfway through the system, so like gear up. I'm gonna get you, let you get your Diet Cokes out. I'm gonna let you get some popcorn. We'll pause, we'll pause right here. You go get some snacks. Soft classic, you have a balanced yin yang with the yin influence. You are a stunning combination of understated sophistication and refined femininity. Your silhouette is smooth, draped, and flared, composed of softly flowing lines, clean, not clingy, that are very controlled and symmetrical. Soft edges and smoothly rounded shapes are most important, particularly in details. Accessories are also clean, controlled, and slightly feminine without being fussy or ornate. Flamboyant Camine, combo of opposites yin yang with extra yang. You are sassy chic, and I quote, rules are made to be broken. Broken staccato silhouettes, broken boxy outlines, sharply outlined edges, severely straight lines, or softly straight lines. Details should be angular and sculpted, ultra colorful, and irregular. Separates are your thing. Be sure to work with opposing shapes, and make sure to have bold animated prints in there too. Gamine, combination of opposites. A gamine needs small, sharp geometrics, precision, fitted, and crisply tailored. Your outline should be sharp, straight, and staccato. The use of severe line with sharp edges comes from the yang. The broken staccato animated outline comes from the yin. Lots of st straight, sharp, short, narrow, tapered hemlines, sharp and narrow waist definition, and you can never have too much detail. Soft gamine, combination of opposites with extra yin. Your style is spitfire chic. Your silhouette, silhouette is animated and staccato, composed of clean curves with sharply tailored nips and tucks at strategic edges. You can use broken curved lines, sharply tailored outline, especially at the waist color cuff, and small bouffant lines with crisp edges. Details should always be animated, lively, and energetic. Mix separates with an ensemble approach or a specific theme. Theatrical romantic, soft yin with a slight yang undercurrent, and everyone tries to type themselves as the theatrical romantic. Your style is femme fatale chic. Shapes should be rounded, intricate, and ornate. Silhouettes should be hourglass, emphasizing the curves and showcasing the waist. Details should be intricate, ornate, delicate, and quite lavish. Soft fluid drapable fabrics, always emphasizing the waist. Um, feminine and shapely dresses, and a general bright light color motif. Romantic, extreme soft yin. Your style is described as dream spinner. Your shapes are always soft with rounded edges. Your outline should always have soft and flowing silhouettes that showcase the lush curves of your body. Pause, let me first just say the romantic is not my ID, and you can see that my shoulders are busting out of this dress, and I was very uncomfortable, so sorry for the mood. Waist definition is essential. Details should be soft, intricate, ornate, and feminine. Lightweight fabrics that drape, watercolor palettes, and accessories that are softly sophisticated. We made it. We did all 13. Okay, what do you think my idea is? Before I say it, I want you to put your guesses in the comments. And if you have no idea, that's okay. I'm going to reveal it in a second. Broad, blunt, and add width, not my favorite thing. But when comparing my own features to other parts of my body, you can see that that's actually true. Now here's a photo of me, and you can see that my shoulder line is super strong. I have a long vertical line, which means I look taller than I actually am. I'm only 5'6", but everyone always tells me they expect me to be taller. Nope, just your average 5'6". Now you can see I don't have what KB calls a double curve. My waistline does not go inward. My torso is fairly wide, as are my shoulders. And then I have my blunt nose and all these other wonderful features. Yes, I know. I was very disappointed with my idea at first too, but you know, you learn to live with it. Everyone hates their IDs at first. So let's rewind, shall we? <laughs> Well, I'm not saying this is an outfit I wouldn't wear. Obviously I have the pieces, obviously I own these clothes, but it is actually not how I would style any of these pieces on myself. I like baggy pieces, I like menswear pieces, but personally I don't abide by all the style lines of the flamboyant natural. It's just not something I do. But if you are confused and you're like, but Gabby, you're telling me all about this kitty system and you know, you don't even follow the lines. Well, I think it is great for foundational advice. If you look at your closet and you are like, nothing looks good on me, I am so lost, I dread going to the fitting room, I want to scream bloody murder every time I have to buy new clothes. Well, this system can help you. It is good to put yourself in a box if you have no idea where you go. You can always expand 
your box later. And you don't know where to start, having a guide, having someone walk you from point A to point B is incredibly helpful. And that is where Kibbe shines too. And it's not about eliminating styles, it's so much as finessing them. So as you can see in my looks, I break the rules. I don't always honor my vertical, I wear sharp shoulder things, I wear padded shoulder things. And that's because I know how to balance an outfit, in my opinion. If you disagree, that's okay, you can scooch out over to another Kibbe video. Boy, bye. It's not the end all be all system. It's a starting point. What you wanna do is you wanna start with some good criteria. You wanna start looking at your body critically. You wanna start in the direction of what your body is telling you it looks and feels best in. Now, so many people say, oh, but can I be a soft gamine and have a romantic essence? I believe yes. system fails is people get so comfortable with the system with this step-by-step -step thing that they never expand outside of it think about a chef when you don't know anything about cooking and you go to a recipe and you're like oh my god now I know how to make chocolate chip cookies perfect yum I love them that doesn't mean that you don't ever change the recipe again experimentation is part about finding your unique recipe your unique spice so don't let the kibbe system box you in so who is it for people who are lost. That is who it's going to help. People who need that guidance of taking their hands, walking them to the first step of their fashion journey. Eventually, you'll be able to go on your own. We'll be like a little bird and I'll just push you out of the nest and you'll fly away and it'll be wonderful. So what are the limitations of the Kibbe system? There actually are quite a few limitations to the Kibbe system because he created this in the 80s. And in the 80s, we were not as progressive as we are now. We don't have the fabrics. We don't have the representation. We don't have the respect for all styles that we are trying to cultivate as a society now. So he does not do a good job of showing um, a range of ethnicities, of backgrounds, of people of color, of size, weight, everything. He kind of sticks to his Hollywood starlets and those are all skinny white women. So if you're struggling because of that, I actually have an article about the weight gain patterns and some plus size examples, mid to plus size examples, that might help you dissect some of this. Um, the other limitations is, you know, fabric, style, style expression, style confidence has expanded so much since the 80s. And sometimes the disjointed fashion that's popular right now is okay. Gabby, can you shut up? But basically, but basically, the Kibbe system is not Bible. It is not something that you will take to the grave and you will listen to every little thing in David Kibbe's book or else you will be horribly, horribly ugly and not fashionable at all. Wrong, 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 wrong. The Kibbe system is the start to your journey. If you want to be a flamboyant natural and wear romantic outfits, go for it. The best thing you can do is not forget about what you feel good in. I believe in finding strength through style. It's where I shine. If you like that message, go ahead and subscribe below. Until next time.